Hello everybody, I'm Dynamission, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. And today, I'll be showing you how to build a double bearing, or a clutch, and its uses that I've been fiddling around for the past week. So let's get into it. But before we go into the video, please subscribe, and like the video, comment on what you would like to see. These videos take a while to make, so let's go into it now. Over here, I have a controller on the bearings and if I get a hammer here you're gonna see that these things have limits and that and that's because I have I have the controller to have these uh, limits so what this essentially is is an angle limiter but without having any external blocks that are very bulky. This is very useful for suspension and or machines that have a lot of stress put onto them because the, these are very strong. And over here I have a clutch and if I get my hammer here you can see it spins. But if I turn the switch off it just stops immediately. And if I hit it with my hammer nothing happens. That's because it's hooked into the electric engine. This is useful for piston engines as a clutch or stuff that you need to spin freely but also want to stop. I mean you could use a controller for this but it is very buggy and it takes a while to actually work. And this is how you can also see the clutch working. So if I turn turn this engine off, you're gonna see this barrel starts to spin with this piston engine. And when I turn it off, it just free spins until it, it starts spinning. But mm, I'm gonna show you how to uh, build this clutch now. So what you're gonna want to do is place your lift down and build a platform, and then get a piston. Place it over there, get a pipe, and then you're gonna want to get your stuff that you want to hook onto it. If I can even. Okay, then you're gonna want to place your stuff down like this. And, it, and when you're building, when, building these clutches, it turns out they're very unpredictable on how to build. The most re reliable way I've found it on how to do it is using a piston like this. But just but just because it it's a, the most reliable way doesn't mean it works 100% of the time. So be careful on what orientation that you put it in. So so if you don't get it the first time, try again with a different orientation. It might work if you do it, do it like that. Greatest mechanic that's ever lived. As you can see, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is break this pipe piece, and then I'm gonna grab it, roll it like that, grab a piston, and then get my weld tool again. Greatest mechanic that's ever lived correctly okay there you go now what you have is a limiter or a uh, clutch whatever you want to call it so I'm just gonna get my blocks and then load it like that and I'm gonna put some controller on it As you can see, it works. But mm, you're probably wondering if you want to use a different block or pipe than uh, just a straight small pipe piece. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to essentially blueprint edit. So, but other than that, that's how you build a uh, clutch or a double bearing. 
Hopefully, hope this video helps you out and it helped you learn anything from this video. I wonder what you guys are going to be building with this.